In this video, I'm gonna be comparing six free VPNs that you can download right now. Some of these options compare to VPNs that cost $60 a year or more, but some of these VPNs are eager to scam you out of your money, time, and data. Don't forget to watch to the end so you can avoid these free VPNs that could end up costing you big. First, we're taking a look at Proton VPN. It's one of the most popular VPNs for a good reason. They actually offer a free VPN with unlimited data, so you're not gonna face any bandwidth caps or any crazy limitations. And it's fast too. I was able to get 680 megabits per second down and 540 megabits per second up on my gigabit symmetrical fiber connection. They have free servers located in the United States, Japan, and the Netherlands. The free servers don't support streaming and you can't access the built-in ad blocker. You're also not gonna get access to their fastest 10 gigabit per second servers. ProtonVPN outlines that they have a strict no logs policy. With that being said, I would still have a hard time trusting my data with ProtonVPN after a recent incident with their sister company, ProtonMail. I'm not gonna get too much into the details of this incident because I covered it in depth in my last VPN comparison here, but overall, I just have a hard time trusting my personal data with Proton VPN, and because you're not able to access streaming or the built-in ad blocker or some of the more premium features with Proton VPN, this means the only reason you'd use their free VPN is if you want to protect your data, if that's your primary concern. And because of Proton VPN, shade passed with data protection, I have a hard time recommending it. Next up is FreeVPN, or FreeVPNapp.org, or FreeVPN by FreeVPNapp.org. I, I don't know what they even call themselves, but if you search FreeVPN in the App Store or Play Store, chances are this is what comes up first. This is what the icon looks like. It's like a unicorn. I was suspicious of this VPN from the moment I checked out their website. It's very vague. They do have mentions of privacy and user data, but they don't talk about a no logs policy explicitly. The website is very minimal. It's kind of a thin one pager and they have the shortest privacy policy I've ever seen on a VPN. If you can even find it, it's kind of buried in the footer in a weird place. But I went to the privacy policy page and they do say they have a no logs policy and they're committed to protecting user data. But overall, I just couldn't find a lot of information about this company. Where are they based? Who's behind them? Is there some conglomerate that owns them? Is it another VPN company? What is their jurisdiction? There's just so many unanswered questions that leave me wondering what the motive is of FreeVPN. I think I found it though when I started testing it. As soon as you launch the app, you get bombarded with all of these prompts inviting you to upgrade to the premium version. But if you just close that and you decide to run a speed test, well, I caught one megabit per second down and eight megabits per second up. Ouch, it's literally unusable. And if you're tempted to upgrade to the premium version of FreeVPN, don't do it. They literally wanted to charge me $6.99 a week for access to this VPN. Like, what sort of scam is this? That's over $360 a year if you got roped in and just started paying for this and maybe it was on auto pay and you just weren't really thinking about it. I mean, guys, it's absurdly expensive. I would not recommend using free VPN at all. It is a scam. It's a money grabbing scheme. They just give you a lackluster VPN that may or may not even be protecting your user data and efforts that you'll subscribe and way overpay for a VPN that probably is still pretty crappy. Next up is Windscribe. Now Windscribe is another popular option and you can get two gigabytes of free bandwidth per month and you can increase that to 10 gigabytes of free bandwidth per month with a confirmed email address. And there are some other ways you can get additional bandwidth added as well. My speed test showed that I was able to get 300 megabits per second down and 180 megabits per second up, which is not bad, but 10 gigabytes of bandwidth per month is not gonna get you very far. Windscribe's free version does support streaming. I was able to stream Hulu and other services, but again, with a cap of 10 gigabytes of bandwidth, you're not gonna be able to stream many shows before you run out of data. The premium version actually is a pretty good value. You can get a year account for $49, and this is very competitive with other options. Windscribe has pretty good functionality too. 
My issue with them though is their security reputation. They had a major security blow up last year where two servers were seized by Ukrainian authorities and they were able to actually decrypt the servers and analyze network traffic thanks to vulnerabilities or things that were misconfigured on the servers. Now, Windscribe has said that they're committed to change and they're gonna make sure this doesn't happen again, but it's saying too little too late. It just doesn't instill confidence that Windscribe is committed to protecting my data. So as a free casual VPN, maybe they're a decent option. I definitely wouldn't recommend their premium option. Next is Hotspot Shield. Hotspot Shield is a freemium VPN that was recently acquired by security company Aura. Hotspot Shield Basic is throttled at two megabits per second down, and in my speed tests, I saw about one megabit per second down. Although on speedtest.net, I was able to access the full speed of the server, and I was able to get 400 megabits per second down and 134 megabits per second up. To clarify, you are going to have the throttled speed when you use Hotspot Shield Basic. This just seemed like some sort of bug or glitch that would allow speedtest.net to really test the full speed of the server without the throttle in software. The bandwidth is supposedly capped at 500 megabytes per day, according to a support article on the Hotspot Shield website. Though the app itself had no mention of this, and I was able to use it for several hours consecutively without getting kicked off, so I'm wondering if maybe this is an old policy that hasn't been updated on their website. Overall though, Hotspot Shield Basic is just too slow to be practical for real world use. And when the premium version is $96 a year, it's much pricier than better options like NordVPN or Surfshark, and I just don't think it makes sense for anybody to use it. Now we're coming to one of my favorite VPNs on the list, Atlas VPN. Atlas VPN is a freemium VPN that was recently acquired by NordVPN, but they are going to continue operating as an independent company. When visiting their website, it's not immediately clear that they offer a free VPN. This is kind of funny because they branded themselves as the free VPN company, but when I look on their website, there's just a pricing page with paid plans like any other premium VPN. However, if you download Atlas VPN, you'll find that they do have a free version and you get access to two gigabytes of bandwidth per day. So at 60 gigabytes of bandwidth per month, this is actually a pretty decent option. Atlas VPN is fast too. I got 460 megabits per second down and 180 megabits per second up in my testing. You'll get access to three locations, but you can't use streaming or access the built-in ad blocker or other premium features. Atlas VPN has a strict no logs policy that's clearly disclosed on their website. It's much more transparent than other VPNs on this list. <laughs> free VPN, and honestly, Atlas VPN might be the only VPN on this list where I think it could make sense to upgrade to their premium version. They have great service, I would feel very satisfied with the quality of their premium product, and at just $40 for the first year or $72 for the first three years, it's very competitively priced. Last up is TunnelBear. TunnelBear is a freemium VPN owned by McAfee, and McAfee is definitely not my favorite security company, but it's clear that they've allowed TunnelBear to continue to operate independently. The free version gives you 500 megabytes of data per month, not per day, you heard me right, per month. So honestly, there's barely any data to do anything. I had just enough to run a speed test, which showed that I got about 240 megabits per second down and 88 megabits per second up, so the speeds were decent, but not great. Especially because the free version of TunnelBear isn't limiting you to a free server or a slower server. Because you only get 500 megabytes of data per month, they give you access to all the features. Now, TunnelBear doesn't support streaming, even with a premium account. And although there is an enticing first year discount at $60 for the first year of service, I just don't think TunnelBear offers enough value. The servers are kind of slow, you can't do streaming, I don't think there's a built-in ad blocker or anything of that nature, it is a bare bones basic VPN. Perhaps the best thing about TunnelBear is the marketing and the cute bear that greets you every time you go to turn on the VPN. But is that worth $60 a year? I don't think so. And is it worth using the free version? Well, you tell me. 
I ran out of data just doing a speed test. And that's the only thing I was able to do with the account. Now I can't do anything else until next month when my data cap resets. If you are set on using a free VPN and then eventually upgrading it to the premium version down the road, Atlas VPN is a much better choice for this. You get two gigabytes of data per day, not per month, and their premium offering is cheaper and much higher quality. So at the end of the day, are there any free VPNs worth using? Well, based on my testing today, I would say the two VPNs that stood out are Proton VPN and Atlas VPN. Proton VPN is the best free VPN I think you're gonna find with functionality. It's fast, there's no data cap, and you can pick from three different server locations. That is, if you can get past Proton VPN's rocky background with data protection. And I know that's a big deal for many users. Why use a VPN if you can't trust that your data is secure? So if that's not for you, that's when I would recommend checking out Atlas VPN. Yes, you're limited to two gigabytes of bandwidth per day, but I'd say that Atlas VPN is a bit more trustworthy with handling user data, and they have a premium version that just makes sense. $40 for the first year is a great deal. I was just blown away by the performance and with the free plan that they offer, I'd say there's no reason to not give it a shot. Now, if you've decided a free VPN isn't right for you and you're willing to pay for a premium VPN, I would definitely consider NordVPN. It's my pick for the best overall VPN and I think it's a great balance of speed, features, and value. If you want something that's a bit more budget conscious, check out Surfshark. It's still high speed, you can still do streaming with it, but it's gonna save you a little bit of money. And lastly, if you're tired of these VPN companies pushing you to pay for a one to three year account with a lump sum of money, check out Molvad VPN. They do all their billing month to month, so it's just $5.50 a month, and they have a special focus on privacy. Well, every VPN focuses on privacy, I would hope, but Molvad does things such as not collecting your email address, keeping your payment information anonymous, and overall, they just focus on privacy, they don't support streaming, they're just focused on not keeping logs and protecting your user data. If that sounds interesting, check out Molvad linked below, and I highly recommend watching my other VPN comparison video over here.